morning. I'm just having my early morning hot butter coffee and I was reading the latest research, which is really not the latest research from the US Senate in 2003, where they were discussing all these inflammatory diseases and the use of stem cell. This is kind of shocking to me is 16 years later, I just came back from the perinatal stem cell society meeting in Utah. These tissues are very effective for a host of different diseases. When I wrote Sugar Crush, and this is the fifth year anniversary of this book, this is the basis for the inflammatory diseases. It's sugar and eating fat is the solution. But today we're gonna to talk about soft tissue injuries and how we can use these tissues and the correct diet to resolve these problems. The freezer we have stored at 190 some degrees below zero, these tissues. Now I'm going to take this out. We have to use gloves because this is very, very cold. And this is stored down here at a very deep area in our nitric oxide. And I'm going to pull this out. We have our amnio, and let's go see our patient. Good morning. Today we're going to talk about Achilles tendinosis, a very common problem with runners and athletes, and plantar fasciitis, a very, very common problem with the average person. Look at the Achilles tendon and see if we can find the fibrosis within the tendon to look at the plantar fascial structures and see if they are thickened that we would see in plantar fasciitis. We're going to inject the amniotic tissue in the tendon itself. The tissue, the amniotic tissue inside the plantar fascia. Sometimes we want to go deeper and we'll use the fluoroscopic orthoscan to get our image and we can get inside a joint. In joints, we like to use uh, cord umbilical stem cells because uh, they have the richest source of stem cell. So this is the image I'm looking at on the fluoroscopic exam. It gives me a very precise location of the material that I'm placing in the joint. Class four lasers, and here's a good one. It's a K laser. This enhances the healing of stem cell or stem cell related products because it brings more blood flow to the part.